Another advantage of a helical machine spring is that we can actually increase the number of starts. As you compress the spring, you have an unresolved moment. And with a helical machine spring, we can actually add a second start. Um, and as the part compresses, that moment is resolved and you won't have the buckling. In many cases, a spring application will have a coil going, a right-hand coil, and then a left-hand coil. And so, with a Helical machine spring, we can integrate a right-hand coil and a left-hand coil all in the same part. Here's an example of that type of flexure configuration. Um, you can see here on the top, this is a right-handed flexure, and on the bottom, this is left-handed. Um, so what can happen with just a single flexure, as you compress it, um, if you hold this end fixed, this end would actually start to twist. Now if you add a second flexure on the top in the opposite direction, um, the twists cancel out. So you actually end up with no twists um, of the ends relative to each other. My favorite part about working with machine springs is the flexure versatility. My favorite part about designing a Helical machine spring is working with uh, various customers on um, new and innovative ideas. Uh, we can vary the flexure, the OD, the ID, um, and the flexure itself, the geometry, um, as needed. And then working with our shop to create new and you know, really complex parts. And so it's a real interesting process. It's rewarding to, um, when an application works well for the customer. And just not knowing you know, when that phone rings what I'm going to be working on next. And that's what I really enjoy.